Noted Wealth Advisors. Here's a question for you guys. Have you ever wondered how much risk you are taking in your investments? Well, John Severino is an investment advisor representative of Rooted Wealth Advisors, and he's back today to walk us through how you can actually find your risk score. John, glad to see you again. Lamaya, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, so I'm sure you get this question a lot, John, because investments can be complex and sometimes a bit difficult to understand, but how can you figure out just how risky an investment actually is? It's a great question, and I'll try and give it to you in the highest of levels I can. I think first, understanding that one of the most cookie-cutter approaches the industry takes on determining risk or how much risk we should be taking is by age, um, which can be applicable in some instances, but most it's simply not applicable. So at Rooted Wealth Advisors, we like to dig in a lot deeper than that and we need to understand the differences between qualitative risk versus quantitative risk to answer that question first. Uh, qualitative risk is ultimately our perception on risk. Like uh, it's based in emotion. Uh, so the question that I'd be asking myself is, is how much risk am I comfortable taking? And at Rooted Wealth Advisors, we take um, you know, our clients or potential clients through a series of very intentional questions to determine uh, a particular person's qualitative risk factor. On the other side, though, we have quantitative risk, which ultimately is is measured by data, right? So ultimately, based on age, a lot of underlying uh, complex, you know, standard deviation, all this different jargon to determine how much risk should we be taking. And we utilize a very sophisticated software piece uh, to determine, you know, that risk factor. And then once again, it's combining uh, these two different uh, risk factors, qualitative versus quantitative to first determine how much risk should we be taking, and then we utilize that software piece to illustrate to a client in layman's terms, how much risk are you actually taking, and it's on a scale of one to 100. One's gonna be as simple as cash in the bank, safe. Uh, 100 is gonna be, as an example, we go to Vegas and we put it all on black, right? Where do we fall in between, and does that align with those factors we, we just discussed? So when we're breaking it down, John, let me just make sure I'm getting it right. So you're saying how risky a person should be depends on their age, or is there a little more to it than that? There's a lot more to it. Um, the age gives us a good stepping stone, but once again, it's much too high of a level uh, to accurately determine you know, their risk tolerance and how much risk they should be taking. Uh, I think in addition to that, what a lot of people also don't realize is that when we determine the risk of our investments, we should be looking at it from a tax perspective as well. And, and what I mean by that is, is taxes in the future, how my income from my various investment portfolios will be taxed, um, is ultimately being determined by when do I need to access that money, thus pay taxes. And ultimately we're applying um, you know, corresponding risk uh, to those particular accounts, once again, based on how they're going to be taxed in the future and when we're going to need that money. Yeah, all really good insight there, John. Of course, guys, if you'd like to speak with the team at Rooted Wealth Advisors and get your tax reduction, a tax reduction report, just call 217-607-8171. That number again is on your screen, 217-607-8171. John Severino, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.